Well, hi everybody, Scott Kelby here from Kelby One Online Training for Photoshop, Lightroom and Photography, and we're gonna do five things to make Photoshop customize to your will. All right, here we go. First one is kind of neat. You can change the overall interface color, this, this whole color of Photoshop, by pressing Shift and F1 will make it darker, and Shift and F2 will make it lighter. So you can go have a time warp and go back to earlier the earlier look like that that light gray but anyway you can choose anyone you like just shift f1 makes it darker shift f2 makes it lighter all right that's number one number two is see this area around your image here's my image area right the area around it if you right click you can choose a different color for your background you can choose the default color or you can choose any one that you like just by choosing them from that little pop-up menu. Number three, you can change the size of your thumbnails. I use the large size here. Just go anywhere in an empty area in the layers panel or the channels panel or the path or whatever you like. Right click and up pops sizes for your thumbnails. You can have no thumbnails to where it's just text or you can have small, medium, or the luxuriously large, large. All right. Next, did you know that you can customize your toolbar? So you've got all these tools, including a bunch that you probably don't use. Go into the edit menu and go to toolbar. And it brings up this little customizer. And you can find tools that you don't use. Like I'm just gonna guess you don't use the note tool. If you drag it over here, it won't be seen anymore. You can drag these crazy tools that you don't ever use. I'm not saying that you don't ever use these. I'm just saying I don't ever use these. <laughs> So go through here, the red eye tool. When was the last time you used the red eye tool? Anyway, go through here and find out any ones that you don't use and just drag them over here and then they won't be in your way. And you can do a little more, you know, you can do some more customizing and all, you know, there's a lot, lot here. And if you ever just get messed up, if you hit restore default, it takes them all back to where they were. So you don't have to worry about that. Oh, by the way, if you go under the preferences to interface, we talked about changing the color and you can, of course, do it there, but you can control all kinds of aspects of your every little aspect, including the highlight color when you highlight something. See how my background layer is highlighted and it's blue. You can choose the color from over here that the default is just kind of gray, eh. but you can choose a blue if you want it to stand out a little bit better. All right, so that's just a little side tip. We won't even count that against the five. And lastly, if there's a particular part of Photoshop that doesn't have a keyboard shortcut that you want to, for example, let's say that you use the Gaussian blur tool a lot. It has no keyboard shortcut by default, but you can add one. Just go under the edit menu, go to keyboard shortcuts. We're gonna go to not tools, but application menus. And you're gonna go over here to filter and scroll down until you come to Gaussian blur. There's blur. There's Gaussian Blur right there. So all you have to do is type in your keyboard shortcut. Now, the most obvious one would be Command-G on Mac or Control-G on Windows, right? And it says, well, that, that shortcut is already used uh, by layer groups. And if you said, what's a layer group? Great, then it's available to you. You don't need that shortcut. <laughs> so unless you really need the shortcut Command-G, it sure would be great to every time you hit Command-G, it brings up the Gaussian Blur dialog box. So we're gonna go with that one and click OK. And now that is your keyboard shortcut to bring up Gaussian Blur. You just hit Command-G and boom, there it brings up the Gaussian Blur dialog box. All right, well, there you have it. There are five quick little ways to customize your version of Photoshop. I hope you found that helpful. And if you're really into Photoshop, and I know you are because you just watched a tutorial on Photoshop, go over to kelby1.com, take the 10-day free trial. We have just literally just hundreds of classes on Photoshop and Lightroom and all this stuff. And if you want to learn it and have a great time doing it, go over there and check it out. All right, guys, thanks very much. And we'll catch you next time.